Good morning, and welcome to another edition of the Roberts Recap. As a reminder, this is where the district's executive cabinet and I attempt to bring you three of the most salient agenda items from our most recent board meeting, just in case you were not able to attend in person or you did not get a chance to view us online. As always, we started our meeting with recognition and celebrations of the outstanding and amazing work happening both from students, staff, and leaders in the district. And although last night we recognized the fact that we are out of school now, we were excited to celebrate two of our teammates, both of whom have national recognitions. The first person was Savannah Calloway. Savannah is a teacher at Coles Montessori, and she has been recognized as one of 40 Montessorians under age 40 for the outstanding work and partnership that she has embarked upon with other Montessorians where they have been examining the practices around change, diversity, and equity in Montessori education. What makes this exciting is the fact that not only are they looking at these practices in public schools, but they are also examining Montessori practices in charter and private schools. Congratulations, Savannah. The next teammate who we recognized last night is also one who received national recognition. She is one of only 15 in the country that have been named as after-school ambassadors. Recognizing that after-school and summer programs are incredibly important not only to students but to parents, we value the work that our recognizee, Linda Phillips, received. Linda, again, one of only 15 after-school ambassadors named by the National After-School Alliance, and we are excited to have her as one of our teammates. Congratulations to Linda and Savannah. At last night's board meeting, we also examine the superintendent's guardrail as set by the board, which looks at how can we ensure that all of our students who have been considered historically marginalized are not being denied SEL supports and services. At last night's meeting, we had one of our outstanding middle school leaders and her team, Carrie Roma from Goodrill Middle School, who presented to the board and community about the outstanding work that they are doing to ensure that all of our students are receiving SEL support, and more specifically, those that have been historically marginalized, with a focus on students with IEPs and black males. Congratulations to Carrie Roma and her entire team, especially her counselors and teachers, for outstanding work supporting historically marginalized students. Additionally, at last night's meeting, we took a little look into the future, where our Associate Superintendent, Matt Smith, who's leading one of our most important initiatives around reimagining education and reinvigorating schools, presented to the board and community where we are in terms of just completing phase one of this project, which is a multi-year endeavor, and talked a little bit about what should we expect in phase two. The Reimagining Education program, which was discussed last night, really focuses on how do we embolden future students so that they can be ready for the next phase of their lives. Two, how can we enhance the educational experiences of all of our students in grades pre-K through 12? Three, how do we invest in human capital in a way that truly meets not only board goals and guardrails, but has a futuristic approach to how we're looking at pre-K-12 education? And four, how can we ensure that we have sustainable education initiatives? All of these have implications for the outcomes around our facility management plan. Three salient agenda items, three minutes or less. The Roberts Recap, we will see you next time.